Hello everybody, wanted to bring you a video. This one is Heber C. Kimball, Attacked by the Devil, an experience written by Heber C. Kimball. In 1837, elders Heber C. Kimball, Willard Richards, Orson Hyde, and Isaac Russell were laboring as missionaries in Preston, England. They were sharing a three-story flat on Wilford Street when the unthinkable happened. On Sunday, July 30th, Sometime around daybreak, Elder Russell rushed into the room of Elders Kimball and Hyde, waking them and claiming that he was so afflicted with evil spirits that he would not live long if someone did not cast them out. The two brethren administered to him, rebuking the devil and petitioning the Lord for relief, the enemy that held Isaac bound. Elder Kimball was voiced during the blessing. Near the end of the administration, his voice began to falter. And then his tongue was bound so that he could no longer speak. Suddenly he began to tremble and reel back and forth. At that moment, some invisible force threw him forward onto the floor. As he hit the floor, he let out a deep groan and then lay prostrate as though he were a dead man. Elder Hyde, with the f assistance of Elder Russell, immediately laid hands on Elder Kimball, blessing him and rebuking Satan, at which point Heber regained consciousness but had only partial strength. He noted that as he regained his senses, sweet or sweat began to roll from him so profusely that it was as though he had just stepped out of a river. Elder Hyde and Russell lifted Elder Kimball and placed him on his bed. However, his physical agony was so intense that he pulled himself back onto the floor. Reaching his knees, he began to plead with the Lord for intervention. At some point during these bizarre happenings, Elder Willard Richards awoke and made his way up to the third floor where the events were unfolding. Elder Kimball noted that having finished his prayers, he sat on his bed and to the surprise of all present that they were wrapped in a vision of infernal of the infernal world. The four brethren said that they saw legions of evil spirits, company after company of them. According to Heber, these demonic hosts struggled to attack the elders and exerted all their power and influence to destroy them. These spirits were in the shape of men with fully formed bodies, hands, eyes, hair, ears, and every other human feature, though some had hideous distortions in their face and body. With knives, they rushed upon the brethren as an army going to battle. Elders Kimball and Hyde testified that they saw them as plainly as one would see a person standing in front of them. These demonic assailants came toward them, foaming at the mouth and gnashing their teeth upon them. The elders Orson Hyde upon the, uh, upon the elders. Orson Hyde noted there were also numerous snakes accompanying the satanic host, hissing, writhing, and crawling over each other. Willard Richards, who had his watch on his person, noted that these foul spirits remained in the room, threatening the brethren for an hour and a half. Elder Kimball indicated that the following day he was so weak from the physical attack that he could scarcely stand. Years later he spoke in detail of the encounter and then added, I cannot even now look back on the scene without feelings of horror, yet by it I learned the power of the adversary, his enmity against the servants of God, and got some understanding of the invisible world. The prophet Joseph Smith related from his own experience, the nearer a person approaches the Lord, a greater power will be manifested by the adversary to prevent the accomplishment of his purposes. These faithful missionaries, Heber C. Kimball, attacked 
by evil spirits as he's trying to accomplish his mission as an, a wonderful servant of the Lord. It's something to really think about as you approach closer to your Heavenly Father and his desires and the knowledge he has for you. There will be greater and greater resistance. It's an interesting thing to to think about and to remember because it can be very disheartening. If I was Heber C. Kimball, this might be quite a disheartening experience to be attacked so viciously by the devil. One might think, well, what was I doing wrong? But that's the whole point is it doesn't necessarily mean what you were doing wrong. It means it could mean that you are getting closer to your heavenly father and fulfilling more of his will and receiving greater resistance. Just as the prophet stated, the nearer a person approaches the Lord, a greater power will be manifest by the adversary to prevent the accomplishment of his purposes. This same, a very similar experience is written in our scripture, Joseph Smith history the first vision experience joseph relates after i had retired to the place where i had previously designed to go having looked around me and finding myself alone i kneeled down and began to offer up the desires of my heart to god i had scarcely done so when immediately i was seized upon by some power which entirely overcame me and had such an astonishing influence over me as to bind my tongue so that I could not speak. Thick darkness gathered round me, and it seemed to me for a time as if I were doomed to sudden destruction. But exerting all my powers to call upon God to deliver me out of the power of th this enemy, which had seized upon me, and at that very moment when I had was ready to sink into despair and abandon myself to destruction, not to an imaginary ruin, but to the power of some actual being from the unseen world who had such marvelous power as I had never before felt in any being. Just at this moment of great alarm, I saw a pillar of light exactly over my head, above the brightness of the sun, which descended gradually until it fell upon me. It no sooner appeared than I found myself delivered from the enemy which held me bound. When the light rested upon me, I saw two personages, whose brightness and glory defy all description standing above me in the air. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, this is my beloved son, hear him. The amazing vision, first vision of the prophet Joseph Smith was preceded by a satanic attack. This very experience, he was approaching near to the Lord. He was going to see the Lord, but this great opposition occurred at the same time as this great and marvelous spiritual experience. I hope we can remember that, that there is an unseen world that we are fighting against, that evil unseen world of Satan, Lucifer, and his minions, those who follow him, those who make a lie and love a lie. I hope that we will not be discouraged, but that we will keep the faith. Joseph and Heber, they had to call upon the Lord, and it wasn't resolved instantly. Joseph says that I was ready to sink into despair and abandon myself to destruction. But right at the tail end, when he thought he could suffer no more, that is when he was delivered. So I hope that this message blesses you. I hope that you will hang in the fight and know that and expect that as you strive your best, your hardest to come unto Christ, to hear him to receive daily revelation, to study the scriptures, to follow the prophet with exactness because he speaks for the Lord, 
then you're going to face opposition and it's going to grow. That should be a sign to you rather than a discouragement. I hope that this blesses you and I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.